This is Patrick Gilbert with Summit Performance and Therapy. Today I want to talk about foam rolling for recovery. So unlike what we normally do foam rolling for uh, pre-workout, we're doing this as a recovery. So whether that's after a workout or whether this is at the end of the week um, on a recovery day, uh, this is what we use it for. So instead of doing small little oscillations like we normally do, what the big difference is, is we're going to make big, long, sweeping passes on the muscle. So I'll demonstrate on the calf here. So all the way from the bottom to the top of that muscle, nice and slow, rhythmic, scanning that whole muscle. And there shouldn't be a ton of pressure on this. You want gentle pressure so you have some pressure through the muscle, but not that it's uncomfortable like it might be when you're rolling out prior to a workout. So rolling back and forth, rotating from the inside to the outside of the muscle, rotating my whole leg as you can see. And I like to spend anywhere from 30 seconds to 45 seconds per muscle per side. So I'll do 30 on this side, 30 on the other side. I like to work my way up from distal to proximal, so I'll start with calves, hamstrings, glutes, quads, and also do pecs and lats. Same thing, looking at between 30 and 45 seconds per muscle per side uh, until you've gone through your whole body. So give that a try and see how you feel.